This video explains how to use LibreOffice Calc to plot temperature versus time when you're determining the freezing point depression of your solution. So the first thing you have to do is enter your data. Time should be on the left column in seconds, the temperature on, in the column next to it in degrees Celsius. Then you need to select all of your data. Don't select the titles, time and temperature, but select the first number by left clicking on it. Scroll down holding down the shift key, left click on the bottom right number, it's all lit up. Next, go to insert, object, chart. You'll see this come up, select XY scatter, click next, next, next. Where it says title, it's gonna be temperature versus time. Where it says subtitle, please put your name there. Whereas the title for the x-axis is time in seconds. And the title for the y-axis is temperature in degrees Celsius. Don't worry about making that a superscript, little zero. Click x-axis under display grids. Unclick the display legend. Click finish. Now, to tidy it, tidy it up a little bit, we're going to click on the data points like there and then right-click on them. Click Format Data Series, where it says Line, where under Icon, click Symbols, and just select the first one. Where it says Width, now move that down to about 0 0.05 centimeters, click OK. So that's a little better. Now we're going to scale the axis. Uh, the Y axis has too much space in here. So where is it? when the Y axis dialog pops up, or what? that thing pops up, right click on it, click Format Axis, and then where it says Scale, click on that, unclick Automatic for Minimum and Maximum, put your Minimum, mine was 5.4 but I just made these numbers up, so whatever your Minimum Temperature was goes there, whatever your Maximum Temperature was goes here, mine was 10, click OK, looks a little better, now the only thing we have to do is well, we have to rotate it and print it. So select the graph, right click where it says position and size, click that. Where it says rotation, click on that. Down here, move this to 90 degrees. See it says oops, 90 degrees right there in the box. Click OK. Um, move the graph so that it's in one of these boxes here. Let's see, put it right there within the box. Now go to File. Printer settings, make sure your printer is selected, click properties, make sure landscape is selected. Okay. Okay. Then go to file, print, um, select your printer, so click selected cells, we're under range and copies, and you should be good to go. Click OK.